guys and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Now that we have warm weather heading our way, some of you guys are probably out dreaming of some kick ass building projects. But that's just what they are. Dreams. The goal of today's video is to turn those dreams from something that's just floating around in your head into something of an actual plan. Without further ado, let's get into this video. It is important to find the right species of wood for your project because this is the difference between a project that you'll keep forever and one which you'll probably burn next time you really need a warm fire. Anyways, wood varies in durability, porousness, and weight and it's important to find the right one that fits your project. Hemlock is the first one we'll be discussing because it is great for anything outdoors. And I know I talk a lot about its ability to resist rot and insects, but it's true. This is a phenomenal wood for anything outdoors. So I'm talking garden beds, pavilions, and of course, siding. While it is great for all of these things, what you'd want to avoid using it for would be things with repeated strain or stress on them, like for say, like trailer decking. You might have a trailer that always sits outside. You might not want the trailer decking to rot on it. So you might think that this is a good option, but indeed it's not. You need hardwood for something like that because of how much weight has to be on it. Another option that you might want to consider is pine. While pine is very similar to hemlock in the fact that they are both firs, they are very different in the fact that they have completely different qualities about them. While I would highly recommend hemlock for exterior use, I would not say the same for pine. It does not contain any of the bug or rot resistant properties that hemlock does, but it still has its uses. A lot of people prefer it for anything indoors and some of the knots that it has is even an attractive feature to it. Pine is light and easy to work with. It's also very easy to stain. Um, it's probably one of the easier woods to stain and because of this, it's just another reason why it's great for indoors. Another option is red oak. Red oak is completely different from the previous two that we've talked about. The main pro to red oak, I think, is the durability, and it's not as expensive as your white oak. Obviously, white oak is a superior wood, but you still get the durability when you use red oak. So the things that red oak is great for is something like decking, whether this is for your house or for something else, fences, and even furniture. All three of the species I've mentioned in today's video have a wide range of uses and qualities to them. Between the three, you should be able to find the right one that suits you for your project. Anyways, the good news is that we stock all of these here at Lumber Capital Log Yard and for the same price. How can we do it for the same price? Well, right now, certain types of wood are down and certain ones are up and in the end, it all just kind of evens out. So right now we have the ability to do so. This might not be a forever thing. Actually, the prices for the different species of wood do change depending on circumstances outside us. So right now, they're all the same price. So make sure that you stop in and get what you need before prices go up. That's it for today's video, everyone. I'm so glad that you decided to click on the video. If you did manage to make it all the way to the end, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. Also, you guys can subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys back here next time.